Hello, welcome at the Tupican BBE tutorial. I will show you in this video and in the first video in the tutorial, I will show how what uh, what BBE means and how to write a BBE code and how to load it and how to run it and the assembly portion. So let's get started. At first, BBE refers to the visual basic but for applications that means that it's a visual, visual basic but for specific applications like AutoCAD, like Microsoft uh, or Excel or uh, Word and so on. It's different from the usual DBE, a visual basic and visual basic, so it's satisfied for these applications, okay, and you can join between them. Uh, at first, how to load a DBE project? To load anything in the AutoCAD, you have to buy good applications. And in the classic, you can choose tools and put applications and do whatever you want. Okay, and uh, Microsoft, uh, the DBE, uh, the extension for it, DDB. Okay, so let's say our DBE Microsoft. Okay, All right. Uh, what is the benefit of the DBE? It's very usual for me to make many repeat things like. I have uh, many fixes. Okay. Here is I have five fixes. Okay, and uh, some of them one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay. If I have many text, for example, if I have many text and I want to do some of them, how can I do this? If I do it manually, I'll check it by my eyes and I will some one plus one plus one plus one plus and so on. Okay. If I have thousand text, how can I do this? I can't do this. Okay. So. The visual basic it's benefit that he can do something that I can do but with very uh, fast command like uh, one second to second he will just uh, show me the result okay I can do it manually but it would consume a time it, this is the main useful for the baby okay he can do something repeatedly with uh, seconds okay or even do some complicated things I can do like if I I have here uh, a BB code for this, so I use the application. I'm not sure yet. Okay, run. I want to run it. Okay, how to run it? By the way, a load application can type app if app load, and you can then open the load application. Okay, how to run it? To run it, you can use two things: controls, macro macros and then run okay or if you use a different version uh, uh, it depends on the version you or you can type uh, tpe run okay here is the project i have done if i press run uh, the food I did, uh, he has instructions that I did, so if I follow it here, I just type, uh, I said select the object, so I will select it, and I will press enter, the submission for 12.7, and if I check it, the submission at 12.6, okay, and so on. There is many things you can do with the visual basic for application, okay. So, how to write it? I can write it by opening the Visual Basic Editor, open tools and micro Visual Basic Editor, or I command DBC then okay. Here is there is many projects I have uh, done before. Okay, this is the project I have loaded, and this is the global one. This is that I will insert the module that I will work on it. Okay. <laughs> so if I 
insert or insert and insert in one view this is something we call user form and the class will uh, we'll explain it later if I choose model, module, module that's where I will write my code okay but first if you use the version uh, uh, 20, 2010 or lower the PDA is built, uh, built, built in the socket uh, but if you use uh, 20 11 and higher, it, uh, you have to load it first. How to load it? By type uh, the order of the VPA. Instinct, VPA run, VPA ID, whatever you like. Okay. The normal is that he will uh, open the properties of the macros, but uh, if you don't, if, if it's not built in the socket, uh, uh, a square will uh, open and he will tell, tell you that you have to download it first. And uh, you will embed a link that you can click it, click on it, and uh, download the PBA enabler and uh, set up it for free. Okay. Here, yeah. how to start the macro? I have to type sub, right? And then name of the macro, and then open two brackets, and then press enter. So, for example, if I want to do my macro called uh, Mahmoud, okay, I will type sub Mahmoud and then two brackets and enter, and he will automatically uh, write in the sub. Okay, uh, so sub is referred to the sub routine, the routine that you will write. Okay, I will explain. How to write a sample macro and how to save it. If you want to save it, just from here you can save it and uh, name it whatever you want and save. Okay. So, what the very important thing that you must know at first? At first, you have to know how to make an array in the DB. That's what means. But if I want to uh, make an array that contains many elements, like uh, something, I will call it uh, O1, any name. And this thing uh, have uh, uh, values for five, on, on anything, okay? I want to create something like this in the VB. Why I will create something like this because I will use it further. Like, for example, if I want to create a point, a point must have three things to do to draw it, like x, y, and z. So I have to create an array contains x and y and z, three elements, okay, and so on. So for the array I have created, it contains uh, how many elements? One. One, two, three, four, five. So the number of elements, number of elements, quite five, right? But the arrangement in the VBA starts from zero, not from one. So the first one for here will have the arrangement zero. And, four, and then one, and then two, and then three, and then four. So how many elements are there? There are five. Okay, but the arrangement starts from zero. So when I assign an, 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 an array, I have to to write it the number of the the number of the elements by this way. So the number of five elements in an array it will will add something like this. If you don't understand it, you will just uh, uh, understand that it's O1 contains four elements, but this is not correct because it starts from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, it's five elements. Okay? And this is a single uh, one dimension element, uh, array. Okay? If you want to have uh, <coughs> two dimensions, more than one dimension, uh, I will explain it later, but I what, what's important now, you have to have to assign 
and uh, one dimension array. Okay. So how can define it? If I wanted to define it in the PBE, I have to use something called them. Okay. Them as. All right. How? For example. If I want to array, uh, define array O1, how can I do this then? Wait, we'll copy K and then we'll enter space and then I will write O1 and then S. So he will understand O1 is something. He wants to understand what is the sum, what is this O1. So O1 I will send it as double. Double. Okay. Here is O1 just to contain one con one uh, value, right? So if A1 contains only one value, like for our example contains five five elements, I will write O1 four, right? Okay, I want to assign every element in this array. How can I do this? You just have to write O1 zero equal to something like equal to it okay the second one o one one equal to and the third o one three two equal and so on o one three equal zero o one four equal here is I, I assign every element to something okay I want to make sure it's all right I, I will make the autocad show it for me something uh, called message box message box is that uh, the square that appears when something happens that will tell you something so I want to tell you message box message box one uh, uh, what or oh, one okay Run it. Run. Oh, there is something wrong. What is it? I will run. Here is, it wrong means there is something wrong here. What is wrong? I press stop. He can't message box all the elements by type O1 only. It's an array, so I have to message box what element I, I want to show. If I want to show the first element, I have to write one zip. I will type run and here is eight. It's correct. Okay, if I want to show the, all the elements of the, of the array, what shall I do? There is something called the loop, and this I will explain later. And the loop is the most important thing in the PBA and in any program you type. Because the loop it can it can check many things in a few seconds. Okay. So if I want to create a point, how to create a point? I want to create a point. The first thing I want to do is I want to the PBA understand it's a point. So if I want to create a point, I will name it E1. For example, as a cat point. Okay. Okay. So, how to create it? The point must contain X and Y and Z, right? So, I can't type uh, B1 uh, command command B1 uh, uh, X, uh, uh, so correct okay so what can I do you have to use this set something you want where I want to set it where in my drawing so I type this drawing okay dot where in my drawing there is model space in a one uh, layout one layout two and so on no, no I want it in my model space and Okay, what you want to do in the middle is I want to add a point. Add point. I will open point back. So, what I 
have to write here I have to write something refers to the x and y and z I can't write 5, 7, 0 and close the bracket ok let's see it ok he will, he will say it. error why? because he under, not understand it he understands that the, the, the thing that I write between the two brackets it will contain the x and y and z it's a point ok so I type one and change the one to minutes, number of minutes three. So it, uh, I will write two, two, one, two brackets two. Okay, just one. Okay, okay. One well, just contain three, three elements. Okay. So when I run it, you will accept it. And I have run it. So I just here is my point. If I open the probability from my point, here is position x 8, position y 4, position z 8.5. Why? Because the arrangement of the only point x is first, y second, and z is third. So the first element, first element will mean x, second element will mean y, and the third element will mean z. So here, a symbol, a symbol, maybe a matrix with the auto -tick. And I will repeat it, the main visual function of the VBA is is that he can do repeat things that consumes time of a few seconds but he first you have to know the basics that you can use it to, to use it uh, in the next VBA project. Okay, thank you and if there is any comment 